Welcome back to the shop, everybody. Um, yeah, yeah, I am quite excited today as the probably second most exciting and biggest current build we have is getting started. Um, I will say that my motorbike, oh, so sad, sitting all lonely. Um, that is the biggest build. Um, a little update on that. We're still waiting on the heads. Head from turn one. I keep saying heads because I'm used to these Subarus that have multiple heads because they're boxer engines. I'm talking fast again. But we're still waiting on the head to get back from turn one racing. Turned out to be some damage to the valves on that one as well. So it's going to take a little longer than anticipated because now we got to order parts and whatnot. So that should be done soon. That leads us to the second most exciting biggest build we got going on well not biggest in terms of difficulty and whatnot but biggest in terms of excitement um like i said i'm excited so i'm weird but it is time it is time to get started on our beautiful 2007 subaru w impreza wx sti um yeah she just got her, uh, she just got some new pistons. I threw some Molly, I believe Molly pistons in it. I'm trying to even remember anymore. <laughs> but threw some pistons in it and threw her back together. And uh, at the time I also upgraded my injectors. I had some old school uh, injector dynamics, thousand cc's in there. They're getting a little, a little close to tapped out. So I decided to get some 1200 cc injectors and uh, threw those in at the same time and I completed my, I redid my fuel, fuel lines at that time as well. I, uh, I took uh, Schmedia Tanner Smith, I took his recommendations and uh, I went with the Evil Energy stuff and it's, it's turn, it turned out pretty good, I think. But anyway, yep, did that and I did the front mount at that time as well. Um, kind of hacked some piping together, I didn't have what I needed. Didn't have the equipment I needed, didn't have the welder I needed. So, what we're doing moving forward here is, I may or may not have shown you in previous videos, I don't even know what I all got out anymore. Um, but, the, uh, the main attraction here is my GTX 3071. Um, I bought this used, but it has a fresh rebuild with zero miles. Interesting story, the guy I bought it from was using it on a, a snowmobile, which, in my mind, it's pretty crazy, as much power as these things can make. So, yep, I got this. It's got the uh, upgraded tile hot side. Um, it is the 8.6, is the 8.4 hot side as well. I went with the bigger hot side to make sure I don't run out of steam up top. Um, and yeah, I'm crazy excited about this turbo because I'm a big fan of Garrett turbos. And this is a very high quality turbo. Um, you know, it's a lot more advanced than the uh, twisted motion in there. So it should spool faster and yield greater numbers. So that's going to be freaking awesome. Um, in addition to that, um, I will be rotating the intake manifold. Bloop but I will be doing so to where I get to keep my AC because I'm not an 18 year old super fast street racer boy anymore. I'm not, I'm not into that life. I need my AC, I'm old and I like to be comfortable. I will be getting a larger intercooler core. Um, one, because this intercooler is rated to be good for slightly less power than I'll be making, which probably will be okay. Um, it, that intercooler core probably would, will, Blech. That intercooler core probably will be just perfectly fine for my application because this isn't a race car. I'm not going to be running lap after lap, hit after hit, you know, drag racing all night or something like that. So the chances of it getting heat soaked are pretty freaking low. Um, at this point, it's just for the cool factor of having a bigger core to fill in that opening um, of the bumper. So this is absolutely 100% going to be a street car. So I will be doing some things that, you know, look cool versus give me optimum performance because 
I don't need those extra tenths of a second or extra five horsepower for anything. You know, this is just going to be a car. This is going to be, this car is going to be built to a daily driver standard. So it's going to be drivable. It's going to be comfortable. It's going to be, you know, start it up and go kind of thing. Obviously I'll warm it up in the cold weather and that blah, blah, blah. But anyway, so we're not going for an all out, give me all the performance you got built. So other than that, yeah, well, so we'll be flipping the, uh, the manifold, rerouting intake piping, obviously. This will have to come up and up to here. Um, I'm debating, I think I'm gonna run the charge pipe off the turbo through here where the intake is. And then the intake will obviously be coming through over here. Um, I do have to replace the sensor, coolant temp sensor for my DEFI gauges. That's my custom uh, overflow tank. And yes, I do realize I made it much larger than it needed to be, but whatever. Um, yeah, so that's what we got going on up here. Um, I do plan to powder coat the intake manifold, my brake calipers, and the compressor housing on the turbo. And then I'd like to order some Cerakote and Cerakote the turbine housing, the downpipe, and probably the uppipe. Um, so we'll see on that. I don't know if I'll do that right away. Probably not because I don't have a compressor out here, nor do I have paint gun. So that's kind of ooh, transmission down. Um, that's kind of the plan there. Um, I am going to need a new clutch, but I'm hoping I can avoid that until later. Um, that is a competition uh, OEM spec clutch. So <laughs> I'm shooting to be at about 500 horsepower, which I'm 90% sure that clutch isn't going to handle. Um, I'm hoping with it being brand new, It'll just, I'll just break it in and then going to get it tuned, it'll hold well enough that I can tune it. Um, if not, we'll be back here pulling a transmission. Actually, we might even, we might pull the engine because that's generally easier than pulling the transmission. So we'll see. Anyway, we got that. Um, yeah, and then I got a Hellcat pump to throw in. Right now it's got the... Deet works, Deech works. I don't even know how to say. No one knows how to say that. But it's got the DW three hundred in there, which has been good so far. Probably is good enough for my application. But um, spent my early years modifying rotaries, and uh, that's why I got the RX eight. But anyway, um, I had a turbo two RX seven, and in modifying that, everybody always, uh, you know, everyone was always, you know, fuel, fuel, fuel. So now. In any vehicle I build, I want more fuel than I'll ever need. So, that is where it's at. Thanks as always for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. It's always appreciated, as I continuously say. But, yeah, thanks, thanks for coming along this journey with me. And I, I can't wait to complete it and show you the progress. I'm really getting choppy here. Sounds kind of bad, but... Again, thanks for watching. Deuces.